What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be playing Nino Kuni Cross Worlds, the brand new net marble game on Bluestacks 5, so let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so this video is going to be the Bluestacks 5 Nino Kuni Cross Worlds video, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the game on Bluestacks 5, and uh, all the graphics and everything you, like, you, know, you can kind of go through with the game, man. So we're going to hop in and actually see what this game's about. It's from Netmarble as well. So, you know, it, it seems like it's going to be really good. So I'm going to do this download and then we're actually going to hop into the game. So I'll cut when the download is done and then we'll actually hop in. So I'll see you guys when the download is finished. All right, so we just finished the download. We're hopping in now to Nino Kuni Cross Worlds, man. Um, if you guys want to download the game, by the way, link in the description to my Bluestacks link if you are interested in playing the game on Bluestacks 5, man. Um, this is the brand new Netmarble game, and uh, I'm kind of excited for it too as well, you know. Netmarble said they've been announcing like a lot of games lately. Nino Kuni Worlds is one of them, man. I've seen a lot of advertisements about it as well, so I'm down to kind of just hop in and see what the game's about, you know. Um, I've, I don't know like the whole IP though, honestly. I don't know like anything really about uh, Nino Kuni, but but um let's actually hop in and pick our class here so we got the first class here being um i guess this is the mc guy um we have this girl oh uh, we have this girl in the back we got the like thor looking guy and then we got this kid over here so i guess we'll go with the main character um we'll be able to view them maybe and like see what they're all about um let's see here wow look at that man the animations on this game are actually really good though let me turn up the volume as well um so we can have a good amount um this is gonna be the swordsman and they have like attack defense uh dexterity it looks like let's customize character and see what else we can do here oh and they have character customization that is kind of sick bro that is actually kind of sick um we'll keep with the regular then um in terms of outfits yeah i think we'll keep with the right it kind of got like the breath of the wild vibe eh? if you guys are watching this video man the breath of the wild vibe i'm kind of feeling that you know in terms of the uh the aesthetic uh but we'll just go with the default um just so we can get to the gameplay and see what it's all about right um so we'll just continue and uh complete but that's pretty cool they have a pretty in-depth character customization there as well um yeah this is the the little like animation they got as well pretty cool pretty cool okay yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have, like, been into the Nino Kuni, uh, you know, IP or anything like that, if you know anything about it. I'm kind of just here, uh, you know, hopping in, just kind of blind, you know. I don't really know um, much about Nino Kuni uh, personally, but, um, yeah, man. And, uh, guys, if you guys want to see the uh, the settings for Blue Stacks that I'm going to be using when we actually hop in here, I want to show some gameplay first to show you guys, like, what it looks like, and then I'll show you my settings, though. Um, but we'll hop in here, and hopefully we'll be able to get some gameplay going. Alright, so I skipped over, like, past the tutorial just to get to the gameplay side of the game, guys. Um, this is the uh, Nino Kuni open world area as well. And uh, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to be setting up controls in Bluestacks 5 so that you guys don't have to use your mouse to do all the navigations or everything like that. So what you guys want to do is you want to go over to this button right here, the game controls, and you want to make sure... You can turn, you can turn the opacity on a little bit just to see them if you want. Um, you want to make sure that they are on keyboard and you want to open the advanced um, editor here. And what you guys want to do when you have the advanced editor open is going to add a d-pad here um you can actually edit the d-pad as well um in terms of settings if you guys want to change these settings on it so you have wasd um and then you know you can have basically all the settings saved as well um so what i'm what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to have a uh, keyboard and mouse wasd um let me remove this and then can we grab it let's see here yeah so we can uh let's see um Let's actually delete that. We'll just add a new one. And then um, you take the D-pad, drag it in, and you can put it around the area where, like, you know, the, the movement is. Um, and then go to the settings here. Go to more settings. Go to keyboard and mouse. Make sure it's on this, right? And then you can save. And then when you actually open into the game here, um, we can use WASD now to move. As you guys can see, you can see the uh, little, like, WASD thing as well. And I'm actually just moving in the game. And then if you want to set up, like, uh, you know, your game controls, you can do the exact same thing. So you'd go into the advanced editor and you would add, like, a tap spot here. So we could drag this on and put this as, like, let's say this is, like, E right um we could go in here uh, make sure it's on keyboard and mouse right and then just put like e right and you could just save and then save like that so when i go back into the game and i tap e it's gonna do my little attack skill as well so that's pretty cool um and let's actually uh you know fix the rest of our controls and then we'll get into the gameplay and show you guys what the game's all about right um so let's actually just drag on we'll put that as my e we'll do this as like r right um let me make sure it's set on keyboard and mouse and we'll just put r 
right? And then we'll add another one here and we'll have this as, um, we could do F, right? So we'll uh, go to settings here, keyboard and mouse, F. And then uh, save the configuration, X out of this, goes back into the game. And now we got all our abilities and we can move around the screen as well. So it's literally just like, kind of like Genshin Impact, man. So um, let's actually go to the first quest here. Let's see what we got going. And uh, it's gonna say, uh, oh, it's gonna tell me where to go. Okay, I thought it was gonna take me automatically. That's fine. So uh, we're going now um, and we have all our skills as well. So that's pretty cool, man. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, so we gotta talk to the uh, person right here. That was so close, glad we made it. Yes, and again, guys, remember, you can change the uh, game controls here as well. And then in terms of the BlueStack settings as well, this is the settings that I'm using, guys. CPU allocation high, um, the memory allocation high with high performance mode with 240 frame rate if need. Um, you can also uh, enable high frame rate as well if you don't want to just do like 60 frames, let's say. For the display, I'm running uh, 1600 by 900 on in terms of landscape and then 240 DPI with the BlueStacks cursor. And then on the graphics, we got compatibility, OpenGL, software interface render, and then the software decoding on the ASTC textures so now going back into the game here let's actually see what the gameplay is really about now so uh, let's see so we're gonna accept this quest here um, we got a brand new quest uh, and now we're actually gonna be following uh, this guy right here uh, clue so let's see where he actually takes us to follow and find the clue Wow so we got to get to that uh, that um, castle right there man so let's actually just um get done with this and then we're just gonna follow clue here as well um can i like move out yeah i can okay so we can actually pick up this suspicious grass as well can i pick it up yeah so you can so it is just like genshin man in terms of like finding items and stuff you guys can see the game does look really polished as well um in terms of the the frame rates and stuff you can probably change the settings in the game as well if you do need to like uh, optimize those as well um but the game does look really good man for what it is uh, on blue stacks 5 um but let's continue through here and i want to see if we can get a fight going that's that's what i want to see man Let, that's that'll really show like what the gameplay is really about if i can get a fight going oh is this like a roll oh that's kind of sick oh here we go this looks like this is going to be uh, something we got to do an outsider okay let's see let's go over here um gotcha Oh wow, he has like a duck mask, what? Yeah, let's skip this and let's see if we got a fight going on. We do got a fight, okay, let's see. So now what we can do is we can literally just press all our abilities and we can go crazy, man. That's pretty cool though, right? Um, where you're able to do that. And uh, yeah, man, the gameplay does look really good on BlueStacks 5, guys. So if you again, if you do want to hit the uh, download link and uh, download the game Nino Kuni Cross Worlds, definitely make sure to hit the link in the description for the BlueStacks 5 download. Um, so far, man, the game does look really polished, and I'm, I'm really excited to see what Nemarble has to offer in terms of uh, their newer games uh, releasing uh, soon, right? So let's actually see. We got this boss here. Let's actually kill this boss, man. Okay, let's turn the camera. There we go. He's got 1,200 HP, bro. Oh, wow. And he nullified me there. Okay, there we go. Can we dodge? Oh, I need to make sure I put space bar as my roll, probably. Um, but yeah, and then we get the kill. Bop. Look at that, man. That's kind of sick, bro. I'm not going to lie. That is kind of cool. Chloe. Yeah, and then you put your name. So, you know what I'll do? I think I'll wrap up the video there in terms of the gameplay showcase for on um, Blue Socks 5 for Nino Kuni, guys. Again, if you do want to download the game, link in the description if you are interested. Um, it'll support me, and it'll definitely help you guys out as well. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and have a great rest of your day.